The bail system in New Jersey was broken and it needed to be fixed. The old system did not adequately protect public safety. We need to have a system that doesn't treat people differently based on the size of their wallets. Commercial money bail is one of the great injustices in this country. My name's Tyler Hubbard, I'm 22, and we're at my Aunt Heather's house in Eatontown. The day after my graduation, I left to Pennsylvania to go to automotive technology school, and I had a job waiting for me when I got home. Being an automotive technician is a pretty good paying job. The longer you stay in it, the more you make. I have plenty of customers. I'm pretty busy. It works out pretty well. Basically what had happened, me and my mom's husband got into a big argument and it ended up escalating in a way that it most definitely shouldn't have. That was basically my first time ever in the system. The charge was second degree aggravated assault. I was mainly thinking I hope I don't lose my job. I wouldn't have had anything when I got out. Any time spent behind bars has serious consequences for that individual, for the family who relies on that individual, and more broadly, for the community. They lose jobs, they lose housing, they lose connections to families and to communities. And if you're not able to pay your child support, you're not able to pay tickets, it's very unlikely that you're gonna be able to make bail. My bail would have been upwards of $100,000, and I wouldn't really feel comfortable trying to gather that up from family members or friends. Bail was set at $100,000 and you went to a bail bondsman, you might pay the bail bondsman $10,000. That is not money you get back. When people can't pay back a bail bondsman, the bail bondsman coming after their assets, after their houses, if they can't pay it back. This all really came to a head in 2013. Uh, the Drug Policy Alliance did this study. 40% of the people who were in county jails were, were there because they could not post monetary bail. Three quarters of the people who were being warehoused in jail were awaiting trial rather than serving a sentence. They stayed there for an average of 10 months. Someone's whole life is derailed while they're sitting in jail pending trial. People in the United States are so used to this commercial bail bond industry that they think it's normal. Every country in the world has outlawed commercial money bail except for the United States and the Philippines. It failed because it detained lots of poor people simply because they were poor. But the other problem was that there were rich people who were being released, even though they were dangerous, simply because they were rich. No, I never had to pay bail. I would have been there a lot longer <laughs> if things weren't how they are. Our Chief Justice, Stuart Rabner, who put together his task force. He called together what he called the Joint Committee on Criminal Justice. Judges, you had defense attorneys, you had civil libertarians, you had prosecutors, you had the attorney general, you had members of the legislature, you had members of the governor's office. There were some politicians kind of had to go toe to toe with them because some of them had differing opinions. The goal of this committee was let's pull together a blueprint for what became bail reform. This was a piece of legislation that Senator Norcross and Senator Sweeney was trying to push. And the governor had to call an emergency press conference uh, where he came out and he was backed by urban mayors and people from across the spectrum who backed this measure. And he had to say to the legislators, get back in here and vote on this. And they did. We have a ballot question in November that I'll be campaigning for and that I'm confident the people of New Jersey will support. Here we had two Democratic senators and a Republican governor who said, I'm with that piece of legislation and I will sign it if you get it to my desk. It's too big, it's too hard. Um, you know, they have too much money. Well, all of those things were the case here in New Jersey, but we won. We won. New Jersey is a couple steps ahead of the curve. We're seeing already many, many more people who are not having to go to jail, keep being productive members of society while they wait for their day in court. I think any state that has money bail should take a hard look at what we've done here in New Jersey. This is a positive example that other states can and should follow. If you want to reform your state's criminal justice system, pretrial is a great place to start. 
These are people who are presumed innocent. Since I'm not in jail, I can continue working, follow all my dreams, and I want to eventually have my own shop, build a pretty good clientele base. Because we have numerous other organizations working together, like-minded folks, we can get some great things done.